Hey, this is Fuzz and Wet, and I'm going to be doing a starter tutorial for Mountain Blade Warband. And uh, I'm just going to get started. So you start a new game. Look at the loading screen, gives you a hint. Um, this wall of text here gives you a short summary about the game, about the political system, uh, and other junk like that. So you pick your gender, pick male. Uh, you were born years ago in a faraway land your father was, and you can basically pick what your dad was. And all these questions um, shape what character you start with. It's not that big of a deal, but if you have like a set character you want, you can definitely give them a, a boost, a head start, by picking the right questions. So, my character, I think I want to make like more of a Viking lead a war band so it's gonna be a leader so I'm gonna pick Imparverse Noble, Page and Noble's Court, a Squire and Lust for Money and Power because you know I'm a Viking. Um, become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. So because I picked or because my father was a noble uh, that means I'm part of a you know the nobility so I get to pick uh, a banner and let's pick a badass one. Um, I'm gonna be a Viking. Uh, uh, this one has an axe on it, so I guess I'll go with that. <sighs> okay, so here's uh, the RPG of the game the stats, levels, all that fun stuff. But I'm gonna pick my name. Um, just uh, fuzzing, why, why not? Let's keep it simple. So here's your attributes, strength, agility, intelligence, charisma, and uh, something to note is that attributes, depending what attributes you pick, uh, depends what you can pick in the, the skills, which is kind of neat. So if you put all your points into strength, you can get iron, flesh, power strike, power throw, power draw. Um, that seems to be it. It's the top four skills, really, are affected by strength. And you can see which uh, skill or which uh, attribute affects which skill. So it says like training, base attribute, intelligence, it appears right here. So spotting takes intelligence, 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 uh, first aid, intelligence. <laughs> yeah, intelligence. Uh, if you pick uh, a really intelligent character, you get a lot of skills, a lot of, uh, um, how would you say, uh, increase the skills of your character on the over map, basically like uh, spotting, pathfinding makes it so you travel faster on the over map, spotting, you can see farther. Uh, tactics actually affect battle. It gives you one point in uh, an advantage, and the more advantage you have, the more troops you'll have, and the less troops they will have. So that might be worth investing in. I never do, because just being on the battlefield yourself is enough of an edge to win usually. Uh, so we got engineering, which helps you in siege. It makes it so you can build siege equipment faster. You know, you can get companions. I know there's a um, siege expert companion that has a really high engineer. So you really don't need to invest in intelligence so much. It's more, in my opinion, charisma and strength are probably the most important. But let's just, I usually start with a lot of strength and then I just invest my points into fighter skills. Um, since I'm a Viking, I might as well just go one power throw. Let's throw some axes, right? That's that's pretty cool. Put some points into throwing so I don't suck at it so much. And yeah, this is the proficiencies. Uh, it infects like everything about the weapon you use, like the speed, the damage. Um, it's really hard to notice the difference, but it, it's still there. I just don't pay attention to it too much, I guess. So here's the character creation. It's, uh, 
you know, this isn't something you haven't seen. Wow. Okay, my screen's bugging out for some reason. Anyway. Uh, like, nowadays, this is pretty common. Oh, I picked the hair. You can mess with the face. But back when Mountain Blade was first being made, this was, like, never seen before. So it was really... It's really got a uh, Mountain Blade a lot of attention back in the day. So, this is... Oops. Uh, just make them real quick. Uh, let's just randomize them for time's sake. Uh, Viking. There we go. He looks like a Viking. So, you get to pick what uh, kingdom you want to start in. You got Swadia, Vagar, the Kergit, Nords, Rodic, and the Serenid. I'm going to start as a Nord. Or in the Nord Kingdom, and basically start in town. You hear a uh, a bandit, and you get attacked by a bandit. So you gotta kill him. Oop, missed. And then some merchant comes out and is like, "You all right?" And I'm like, "Yeah." So he takes you to your home. This is basically like a second tutorial. Um, he says his brother got kidnapped and he wants you to like raise a tiny army and save him and I'm just gonna be like, uh, no. No, go away. So, uh, this is just instructions, but basically here's the over map. You can click where you want to go. You can hover your cursor over your guy and you can see the troops you're holding and since I don't have any troops, it just says me and then I have 100% health. But here we can go into town. Oh, there's a tournament going on, which is uh, a really good way to make money. Because you can bet on yourself and hopefully you'll win. Um, so this is the tournament pretty much. It's really, really, really crappy, but whatever. There's a lot of mods that mess around with the tournament system and they're really good. You can see the AI is um, kind of retarded, but there's a lot of mods that fix that. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this game is one of the kind of games that uh, becomes a lot more enjoyable with the mods because they fix a lot of things that the developer is too derpy to fix. So. Yeah, in the beginning, it's really good to find these tournaments. And if you're confident in your skills, uh, it's really good cash and you get a uh, renown, which I'll talk about later. But short answer, it uh, increases your standing with the nobility and you get, you're able to get more troops just from renown. I think it's like 20 renown for one guy. Um, and, and you get 20 renown just for winning this tournament, so doesn't sound like a lot, but it adds up in the long run. Maybe I should talk about the controls. Uh, to block, you mouse right click. To attack, it's left mouse click. And kinda, it's kind of obvious, but uh, to swing into which direction you want to, you have to move your mouse towards that direction. So you see these little arrows? Oh, I'm in trouble here. Uh, it basically indicates where you're going to swing. So up, side, up. Wow, this guy's still alive. Oh, wow. I don't think I'm going to win this. Maybe I can. Nope. Alright, well, I lost. All my money's gone. Um, yeah, fun. Eliminated from tournament. <sighs> well, this isn't good. <laughs> I have no money. 
Uh, see, yeah, there's definitely a risk to it, but I don't know. I basically got to find some looters. Okay, let's kill these guys. So if you're in desperate need of money, go kill looters. The the easiest thing to kill in the game. The gear is terrible, but you know, it adds up. I mean, look at these guys, they just throw rocks, which hardly do any damage. I'll just try to hit these rock guys first. Like, ranged enemies are really easy to kill because they can't block. Like, this guy blocked, so he's pretty annoying. Oh, I do have a shot. Oh, oh, what? Really? Come on. I quit. This game sucks. Don't buy it. I didn't kill him. Oh. My horse is gonna die. Oh, this guy's running. It's cause uh, his morale is crap. He's scared so he runs. I'm gonna get off my horse. It's gonna die. If your horse dies when you're on it, then you kind of stumble, and that gives them an opening to kill you. So, if your horse is about to die, just get off of it. So, I win. You press tab to get out of battle. Continue. So, here's the loot. Oh, wow, I got a balanced one. That's actually worth money. So, lucky me. So, I'll just grab all this stuff. You can hold down control and click on it, and it'll just go right into your inventory. Return. Oh, it grew level. So press C to go to yeah, your character screen. Put in the attribute. Power throw. More points to that. So let's go back to town and sell this stuff. Ah, oh, it's not worth that much. I actually might use that instead of what I have. Actually, uh, the weapon reach is too low. I like to have some reach. So, hold down controls, sell it all. One, two, three. Awesome. Oops. I actually wanted to go in the tavern, not the street. This is pretty much useless. Like, back in the day, you had to do this. There wasn't a, like a little menu where you could pick where you want to go. So you actually had to walk into town, go to the shop, which I actually liked a lot. You know, it made it a lot more immersive. But you know, gamers are lazy. There was a mod that allowed you to do that menu thing, and then Tail Worlds, the company that made this game, just were like, "Okay, fine." <laughs> you know, I don't. Know. I just think it's just it's just lazy. Whatever, I use it, so I can't complain too much. So in taverns they have a couple uses. You can hire a mercenary, so here's some caravan guard. Uh two of them for four hundred and eighty. Yeah, right. Screw that. Uh you can pretty much talk to this guy. Um if you're looking for work, you can say, Have you heard of any and anyone in this realm who might have a job for a man like myself and he'll basically give you a couple jobs like well Ragnar is looking for mercenaries um, this is Jarl Durrigan he's one of the vassals of uh, King Ragnar and he's looking for work or he's looking for someone uh, for work um, and then that's it so Ragnar is looking for mercenaries and one of the vassals has a job. So you can either go find them and do the quests or just say bollocks to that and talk to this guy.
So if he's the guild master, you can ask him a whole lot of questions. Ask him about the political nature of the game, uh, the wealth in the region, which pertains to trading, which is <laughs> something else that's that's basically becomes your main source of income in the game is uh, by trading. Um, you can buy land and use it for a business, but it's really expensive, so I don't have any money for that. And you can ask him for jobs, like, do you happen to have a job for me? He's like, uh, sure, guy, have a job. And it's a low-level quest. The pay is crap, so, but, you know, whatever. If you finish the, the quest, you get a lot of experience, which is almost, it's almost a guaranteed level up if you beat it. So basically, they're having troubles with looters, so I'll just do it. Um, hopefully, I can do it. So we got nine here. Okay. So each group I kill, I'll get like 80 gold from it. Which is kind of bad. Wow, this crossbow's terrible. Alright, whatever. Oh, wow, that actually did some damage. So, the horse controls are pretty much just like what you kind of expect. You know, WASD. You can look around. You get to choose where you want to attack. You can stab.